G'day guys, Cam Wild Wild Touring. Um, I'm actually out here, uh, I was just filming something on this awning, but I thought while I was here, I wouldn't mind showing you some other, some other cool gear that I've recently um, purchased that I thought you might be interested in. So let's give you a look. Um, first up, I was gonna show you a new swag I got. This is by uh, Carl Kine. Um, I've never spent big money on a swag, and this is not big money either, really, uh, comparatively speaking. Um, I've always sort of run cheaper swags. I'm a fair weather camper. I don't camp on the West Coast here. I'm never really camping in, I will never snow. Um, and I don't camp in mud or, or rain if I can avoid it. I'll pick good weather and, and that's when I do most of my camping. Um, so having said that, the Calcon used to be Australian made. Unfortunately, it's not anymore. They're imported. I never saw one of the Australian made ones, so I can't comment on whether there's been a drop in quality or not. This is the stretcher. So it is a stretcher swag. I got the King Single Big Boy. I'll put it on the screen there. Um, I believe the swag and the stretcher, which are uh, sort of made for, for each other, uh, came to about, I want to say 550 bucks, but I'll put a thing on the bottom because I've forgotten. Anyway, here's the stretcher. This is quite bulky, this stuff, and it's also quite heavy. But I don't, if I'm swagging, I don't, it's not with the wife or the kids, so I've got the entire car to fill up. So I don't mind basically filling up the entire back seat with a swag just to be comfortable. It's still very quick to set up. Uh, if it was any smaller and more compact, it wouldn't be any easier to set up. Uh, it would just take up less room. So yeah, this is quite heavy. This is all steel. The bags are really good. They've got wide openings to the mouths when they unzip. Um, and they fit everything without sort of trying to stuff it in. So that's one plus side. It's not canvas, the bag. It's like a plasticky sort of material. So I don't know how long it'll last. We'll see. I've had this swag for a couple of months, this combo, the swag and stretcher. And I've, I don't know, I've probably had 15 or, yeah, probably 15 odd nights in it. Haven't found quite the right way to set this up without it being a little bit awkward. You'll see what I mean in a sec. I'd like to be able to keep it all off the floor while I'm doing that, but I haven't quite got the knack. So, yep, you can see what I mean. It's not hard, just sort of looks a bit awkward. Anyway. Rightio, that's it, it's not difficult. Holes go on the end, they go that way. Thread through here. And they sort of locate into some little lugs on the side there. This next one's gonna pull all that material taut. So it's under quite a bit of tension, but I found a good way to do it. So I locate in one side and then I kind of use my leg to get this one in like so and that's getting easier over time I suppose the canvas is starting to stretch this is canvas it's got a decent weight rating I'll put that on the bottom there because I've forgotten um, I'm a hundred and a smidge and I'm very comfortable on this I'm quite fussy when it comes to mattresses and sort of comfort with swags, but I found this to be really, really good. So you can see there's heaps of room in there. That's got all my bedding in it as well. Big sleeping bag and a pillow, and there's miles of room. And this thing just fully opens up, so it's so easy to get in and out. That is a really cool bag. Here is probably handle there. Here is probably one of the only downsides of this swag. Um, plastic clips, which won't last that long. And they're not actually sewn into, move that there before it goes everywhere. They're not actually sewn into the swag. I wish they'd done that because I'll eventually lose these probably. So aluminium poles. I think these are, they look like probably nine mil. So this is where the magic happens. I go through the loops in the corner of the swag and it locks into the actual stretcher. 
same on that side. Yeah, I really like that it locks the swag in because just perfectly aligns. I've tried a couple of different stretches over the years and I've never found one that's really comfortable. Um, and they never perfectly suit the size of the swags I've had. I'm sure there's some out there that do. This is the first one I've had that's just sort of worked perfectly and I'm loving it. Center pole is a fixed length, not an adjustable one. Not sure if that's a good or a bad thing. So far, so good. So there you go, it's freestanding, self-supporting, no pegs or anything like that. When I, when you lay in it, it's sort of, all these come down. Oh, I like this. That's a boot bag. And it's a real generous size, it's zipped. So you can stick your boots in there before you slide into bed. Um, and I really like this. Let me show you this. These are some sort of spring steel. I've seen this on rooftop tents locates into the bottom of the stretcher. There's some holes there already. And then there's a D-ring. So no need to peg or guy rope. I really like freestanding swags like this because often I'll move this out of the way. Um, from underneath my awning, I'll move it out. So I've got room to move and cook and do whatever I'm doing underneath this sort of space. And then come nighttime, I'll often drag this right in close under cover so you're out of the dew and the rain and whatever. Um, and also so I'm up close to the car so that no wind or anything keeps me awake. Got some good storm flaps on every side here. Massive overlap there. Um, so I have seasoned this at home and I do think it's gonna be, um, I do think it's gonna be properly waterproof, but I don't know yet because I haven't camped in the rain with it. Some sort of mesh, I don't know if it's midgy proof or anything yet, we'll see. It looks like it's as tight a uh, weave or whatever as anything else. Nice, thick, I think that's 70 mil. Doesn't look like it now, but I'm pretty sure that is a 70 mil high density foam. Um, they sell fitted uh, bed sheets, which fit perfectly. And like I said, my pillow, my nice pink pillow there, and my sleeping bag all roll up in there. So the other side opens up the same, so it's totally breathable. There's little things so you can strap it all up if you're in summer or whatever, so you've got a nice breeze blo blowing through. There is some pockets up one end for your phone and your keys and stuff, which is cool. Um, another thing I really like about this, the dimensions. Uh, it's slightly taller and it's slightly longer and slightly wider than most other ones I've seen. It is a king single. Uh, I'm quite tall, I'm six foot two, six foot three. Uh, I'm probably shrinking now and getting wider. But uh, yeah, I've, on a lot of other swags, other King single swags I've had, my head and my toes just sort of touch the edges and that annoys me because I'm a bit of a princess. So this just has that bit more space. It packs up really big. She's pretty heavy, um, but seems to be uh, really good quality and it is very comfortable. This is the best sleep I've ever had in a swag. Hands down, no doubt about it. Really happy with it. Um, there's, there might be better out there on the market. Uh, I haven't tried a hell of a lot of swags, but this one's good. There you go, Calcline Swags. King Single Big Boy. It's pretty cool.